lesson is solving a system of equations using elimination. You'll see that we have two equations here. They're related, which means that there will only be one solution that will make x and y true for the value of the equation for the first one and the second one. So with solving by elimination, I'm going to look at both of the equations, and I can see that the y's are a pair of opposites. So I'm really excited about that because I know that when I solve by elimination, I am going to combine the x's, the y's, and the numbers. So with having the y's being a pair of opposites, I can instantly just cross them off. And then I'm going to combine my columns and I'm gonna be adding them. So here I have a three X is equal to 11 plus 19 is 30. And I'm gonna divide both sides by three. And so I get X is equal to 10. Well, when I have a system of equations, my answer is always going to be an ordered pair. So I am going to go ahead and I'm just going to put my 10 in there. So I have half of my answer. Now I get to decide which equation I want to go back into and just substitute the 10. And it's the original equation. So I'm going to write x minus y equals 11. I picked the first one. You could pick the second one. I'm going to put in 10 minus y equals 11. Here's my substituting my x value. And of course, I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. And I end up with a, yes, you have to bring that subtraction sign down, a negative y equals a 1. Well, remember, we cannot have a negative variable. So when we have a negative variable, we're going to divide both sides by negative 1. So y is equal to a negative 1. So our solution for this system of equations that we have here, x would be 10 and y is negative 1. You could substitute the value in and check to see if those answers are correct. The second problem that we have here now, it is a negative 4x plus 9y equals 9, and an x minus 3y equals a negative 6. So again, these two are related, and we know that when I'm solving by elimination, I am going to end up combining the columns. So I need to get a pair of opposites. It can be the x or it could be the y. If I multiply, and that's what we do when we need to end up getting a pair of opposites here, I could multiply this equation by just a 4 and I would get a 4x. And here, remember, this is a negative 4x. So I am going to choose to do that. I could have gotten rid of the y by multiplying by a 3, but I'm deciding to get rid of the x. So I am going to copy the first equation, 4x plus 9y equals 9. And now I'm going to do the multiplication of every term, including that negative 6. You can't forget that guy. So it is 4x, 4 times a negative 3 is a negative 12y, and I write that as minus 12y. 4 times a negative 6 is equal to a negative 24. So I see now that I'm ready to combine my columns because when I do, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to be able to eliminate my x's. So a positive 9 minus 12y, and that was a positive 9y minus 12y is equal to a negative 3y. And 9 minus 24 is equal to a negative 15. 
Well, we know that we have to divide both sides by negative 3 to get the y by itself. So the y is equal to 5. Again, I'm going to start my answer, ordered pair, up here, and my y is a 5. So now I get to pick, do I want the first equation or the second? And you always use the original. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the second. It seems easier. So x minus 3y equals a negative 6. I know that I'm looking for my x, and so I am going to substitute in for my y the 5 that we found is equal to a negative 6. We know we have to multiply, and when we multiply, be sure to catch that subtraction sign. So x times x, I'm copying down, and now I'm going to multiply this. It's a negative 3 times a 5 is a negative 15, and I'm writing minus 15 is equal to a negative 6. Again, I see I need to get my x by itself, so the opposite of negative 15 is positive 15, and I'm going to do that to both sides. And this cancels out, and I end up with x is equal to negative 6 plus 15 is a 9. So our ordered pair that makes this system of equations, each of the equations true on its own, is when x is 9 and y is 5. If this video was helpful to you today, please add a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more Math with Marcia. See you again soon.